what I just talked about, eye contact. I am richly, even with the eyes closed and all those kinds of things, I'm richly experiencing the world. And it's not like you're afraid of the world or you're not able, I don't know what to do. No, I know everything. In fact, I know way too much. There's so many cool options. Yeah. Like at any one moment, there's all the stuff happening and it's all beautiful. And at any one moment, you can do anything you want. You can take off your clothes. You can punch that guy over there. You can uh, run away. You can go in for a hug. You can say something profound and deep, or you can say something generic, or you mm -hmm. could use so many things you yeah, can say. Right, right. And then, and then <laughs> it'll go, it'll unravel in all these kinds of ways. And this moment could be completely life changing, yeah. or it can be mundane and meaningless. And all of those options are before you at any one moment. That's <laughs> and so it's like, amazing. <laughs> it, it's amazing and overwhelming if you allow yourself to think about it. Yes. Which uh like chess. What, whatever exactly <laughs> like well unfortunately with chess you have a few set options. Yeah, two dimensional it's at two least two dimensional space. constraints. Yeah, yeah. There is yeah. unlimited <laughs> possibilities and unlimited beautiful things happening all around you. So I don't think there's a kind of sense that somehow you're limited in your in the in the places of uh in the way you can see the world and how you can interact with that world i am overwhelmed by the lack of limit <laughs> that all of us should be have you looked around you can do whatever the hell you want nobody will remember you anyway Mo all of us will be dead one day you could do anything you can uh yeah. i don't know you can get naked and run around the city as long as you're not hurting anybody and it doesn't matter 